always makes me nervous. It's a first and 10 as A-Chain gets to get a few reps. And look at the freshman go! Touchdown! passes and another touchdown for the Aggies a couple of broken tackles I count three in the open field see why first and ten from the 48 bond over the middle lays it in there caught and another easy walk-in touchdown for Texas A&M a chain off the chain I see what you did there. Thank you. <laughs> Kellen Ma oh. has been off the chain, and that touchdown pass puts him alone at number one in the history of Texas A&M quarterbacks. What a night for Kellen Ma. And really, it's going to be Ernest Jones, who doesn't get quality depth. Two high safeties. Jones has got to continue to get depth. He doesn't perfectly place over the linebackers. They chain again. Touchdown, AM. Touchdown, Texas AM, A chain. Devon A chain with another Texas AM touchdown. Look to make sure that he got across the front of the goal line. A chain refusing to go down that knees down, but where's the football? Tough to tell. A chain, blockers out in front. Kept his balance, gets down. Sideline. The sprinter in the open field, and no one's going to catch him. Touchdown. Dan, we have been talking all night about seal on Asante. That's the first part of this play. It's a great job by this tight end. Awesome block. Now look at Anaya Smith blocking downfield. This is going to be great by A Chain, the contact balance. Watch zero. You don't think this game matters to him right there? Blocking downfield to give him the ability to hit that home run. Really good job of Weidermeyer wrapping around, making that block. A nice. Chain, and he is in for the touchdown. So it's a two touchdown lead for Texas A&M now with a minute and a half to go. That movement and relocating offensive linemen to a different point of attack. Working off the left side. Here goes the speedster, A.J. Nobody in the building's going to catch him. Touchdown, Texas A&M. 63 yards. If you don't get A-Chain early, you're not getting A-Chain at all. Take a look from the pit cam, and right there, it's over. You could see that other guys chasing were starting to lose ground, not gain it. You don't gain ground. Four. A chain stays in the game. They're going to let him cap off this drive after that big run that set it up. And another touchdown on the board for Texas A&M, the second TD of the night. Second and nine after Spiller got one. Fake to him, and then they throw it out of the backfield inside the 10. Five, touchdown, Devon Achey. <laughs> 26 yards for the sophomore. <laughs> 
Blackard's kick goes down to the three yard line to A-Chain. And A-Chain's got an opening. He's got world class speed. He's gone. A-Chain takes it coast to coast. Touchdown, Aggies. Chain 96 yards for the touchdown. Man, as you said, once he broke free, no one was going to come close. There might not be anybody else in college football that could have caught him. No, even if they were even with him, he was going to pull away. Hell, if he was even, he was leaving. It's to the left side of the formation. He is their favorite target on third down. On the ground, A-Chain, they haven't stopped the running game, so go that way, and it's another touchdown. He's untouched into the end zone for 20 yards. Coming into this game, we thought maybe this is your chance to get your running game going, and they have. You end up folding a lead blocker. Inside, lined up at tight end, ends up being a lead blocker up into the inside. First and goal from the one. Do they give it to him again? Yes, they do. Touchdown. Touchdown. It could be a costly drive. As you look down there, Bryce Foster. Lot, like you mentioned. On second and six, another huge hole. Devon A chain. Full head of steam, and he scores from 35 yards out. If anybody touched him. By Max Wright, the tight end. He's going to work up and then he's going to seal this defender along with Bryce Foster right here. Bam, just get a piece of that linebacker that's trying to work over the top to get to A chain. And that's how he walked in untouched. Now, Jordan, you mentioned wrinkles. It's one thing that Texas A&M is starting to do on that outside zone play. Last two weeks, they pin and pull the guard and center. So instead of trying to get complete flow with the entire offensive line, they'll let the guard just block down and the center pulls around. Bryce Foster's done a pretty nice job with it. It's defense. A-chain has a hole and accelerates. Weaves his way, and finally, the touchdown drive for the Aggie offense is over. They reach the end zone. Preston threw a block downfield. Here comes AM. Here they come. All because of the way they were able to control things up front. I'm going to point again to the big center, 61, Bryce Foster. Look at the job of sustaining blocks and opening this up for a chain 64 Robinson also but give able to make of the goal line late in that first half to keep their team in it Kiffin said it should have been 30 nothing it wasn't all of a sudden it's 15 10. Need a two point play or two Calzada doesn't realize that that game clock is running they, they wasted 10 seconds there a chain has space stiff on touchdown and now we'll see one of those two-point plays as they have. Jimbo's not just getting, he's not panicking. Even though he's down 16, he's got to throw the ball. He's trying to keep the clock where he has a chance, but trust his running game. A back who's averaging nine yards a carry and a receiver that time, Smith helps him out, or Demas rather, helps him out. Touchdown. Second and goal. A chain, touchdown, Aggies. Tight end in motion, crown over with A-Chain who gets the call and he gets the touchdown.